My name is Joel Falk. I'm the IT director for the South Jersey Transportation Authority. With inside the fence line here uh, in Atlantic City Airport is the Commercial Aviation Terminal, which we own and operate, the Air National Guard uh, military operation, the U.S. Coast Guard operates out of here, as well as there is a FAA research facility and the U.S. Air Marshals. My name is Edward Conroe. I'm the airport fire chief. Not only do we provide the protection for the airport complex and all the users, but we also provide support to the surrounding communities. Um, we're centrally located between three municipalities, so not only do we do the aircraft rescue firefighting, we do structural response, EMS response with our BLS ambulance, uh, and we support them in any time of need. The crash phone system, in my opinion, is the primary life safety system here at the airport. Whenever there is any incident on the airfield, the crash phone is initiated by the air traffic control to communicate with all the coordinating parties. An example would be an inbound pilot who feels that there's something wrong with his aircraft would contact the air traffic control tower. They would then initiate a crash phone call and our fire department here would go out in the airfield and, and be in an alert position to deal with that inbound aircraft should they actually have a problem. Our old crash phone network was only single point activation, which meant the air traffic control tower was the only agency that could activate the crash phone. With the new system, we were able to include airport operations as a backup. So if the air traffic control tower went down, our operations section can activate the crash phone and all the new users as a backup. Uh, the new crash phone system at Atlantic City Airport's made our job easier by providing a more reliable system. Um, we have the ability to maintain the system a lot easier, which is under control of the airport operator versus um, the previous old system, which was under control of the FAA Tech Center. Um, the old system was on old copper lines, which was not reliable. Well, historically on rainy days such as these, uh, we would have issues with the old system. Uh, we had copper pathways that would often get wet, which would result in you know, dirty, noisy lines. We don't have those issues now that we're running all the voice across our glass fiber optic network. The thing just works 24-7. Uh, we haven't had any issues with it. In addition, because it's on our uh, IP LAN, we can add crash phone extensions anywhere we want on the network without pulling copper uh, in any big effort. Um, the primary thing is redundancy and reliability. Um, it's something we never had and now we have. Um, on our redundant fiber optic network, if we have a break in the loop, we're able to get the system up and operating. Um, and just the, the, the operation of the system is an easy to operate, easy to maintain, and reliability is the biggest thing. I know that why NEC was successful is that their solution was as out of the box and off the shelf as it could be for, for the specific requirement we were looking for.